I welcome you with grateful arms. But for real, um, I just want today to talk about something to help you in your life and that is the topic of how to deal with people who are intrusive, crossing boundaries. Um, or t just intrusive crossing boundaries and telling you what to do. Violations of space or being aggressive or passive aggressive. So often there's people who are nags, they're trying to act like dom dominant, often it's their parents or it could be it could be anybody to be honest, but often it is our parents or it could be just like a workmate or even a friend. They they think they're superior than us. They try and tell us what to do, do this, do that, you're no good at this, criticizing, you can't do that. Do this now, like waiting for you to do things, telling you around. Um, so this is disrespectful and it's not nice. So what I've learned to do in my past is to practice my throat chakra and to use my voice to talk and communicate. And instead of acting meek, weak or powerless or fragile, I act strong, more like the teacher rather than rather than them being like the teacher of the class, the head person and you're like the pupil or the one below them. I step up above them as if I am the one who's going to be, be conscious and empowered. And what I say is stuff like, I bring it back to them. So if they say, where are you going? Or like, you might ask, why? Instead of saying, why do you think I shouldn't be? You say, why Why do you ask? Or you, you say, I don't need to tell you where I'm going. I'm go where I want, when I want. And I don't need you to be nosing around or interfering or putting into my life. Thank you. I don't. Do I butt in and nose around into your life or tell you what to do? No, so politely do the same for me, please. Thank you. And I'm not going to keep saying this, by the way, so I'm not going to keep entertaining you always having to tell you all the time. So I'm going to tell you once. You might forget. I'll tell you again and make sure you remember. So basically speaking, when people don't oblige them to be positive behavior and nice company, we are obliged then to distance ourselves from them if we want to act out of self-love rather than to be in a jeopardizing, abusive, or dangerous situation. It could be sexual abuse, it could be dangerous situation. Some, some people take pity on their torturers, their captors, their abusers, their rapists. They say, oh, but... And then some people say, oh, what, like, what about compassion or forgiveness? And compassion, love and forgiveness, they're all feelings, they're not actions, they're not, they're not, they're not sort of like um, basic or immature actions based on continuing to self-jeopardize ourselves and keep us in a dangerous or destructive or possibly harmful or hurtful situation. So forgiveness, compassion and love, I'll tell you again, it's not that you have to go around hang, hanging out with your abuser, your mistreater. Whoever that may be, guys, you know who it is in your in your life. And if you are any of these things, polish yourself up, clean yourself up, change your ways, please. Be nice, get healing, look at yourself, and uh, get some co coaching from me or other people who are of a high vibration enough and clear enough in their heart and their spirit to be able to help you significantly to make breakthroughs. You have a much better life, by the way, as a result. So. So this video is out for the people who are being told around what to do, intruded upon, boundary violated, and mistreated. And they go around sad, confused, lost, and stressed because they're being manipulated and disrespected. Have compassion on these people. This is why I made this video before my salad. So I want you to be strong. I want you to be able to stand up for yourself, not to be confused about forgiveness, compassion, and love. People need to earn their place in our life. It's, if they're a negative person, they've got to earn our respect and forgiveness and love. If we're to act in a way where they're, we're, we allow them in our life again. So we, forgiveness is about us letting go. It's about our healing. But a lot of people, especially manipulating men and abusive people or people who want their way when they want it and they'll feed you a whole lot of self um, false promises and lies and deceitfulness this especially happens with women where men they're not actually physically aggressive but they'll actually be mentally emotionally manipulative and abusive that way 
putting you down, controlling you, manipulating you and lying to you. But as I said, of course this can happen with anybody. So, so instead of believing what people say up front, wait for them to prove their actions and make sure people are consistent and they're having, they say sorry and so then you can start the forgiveness um, in action once they say sorry and they vow to make amends for that and to not repeat it as well, to be a new, more positive person so they make positive change. All of these things have to happen, guys. But not just say sorry, not just, oh, well, no, I won't do it again, or, oh, I'll do this. You have to actually show, they need to show remorse. People need to show that they want to be different and they need to prove it consistently. Be careful of red flags if you're in a relationship or getting into a relationship, especially women, just the way it is in this world at the moment. But men too, be careful of red flags. Trust your intuition. Um, and seek, I, I very strongly uh, seek um, advice or consult with friends or family or coaches or that type of thing. People like me or your friends or family, people you can trust, people who you believe have your well-being at heart, who aren't going to be selfish to you and will help you get different perspectives, look at YouTube videos, etc. Empower yourself, become clear, question your beliefs. Um, is it true? Um, so, I think this is just a video that's just off the top of my head, like all my videos, so I hope this helps everybody and I send you my love and blessings. So, my love, gratitude and blessings. So thanks for your friendship, support, love and care in my life. Thanks for liking the video, please. Hit the like button below if this video has been helpful or you appreciate my kind intention to help you in your life. Please share the video on your social media, like Facebook or Twitter, for example. Um, and if you're interested in either my herbs for body, mind, spirit, or my coaching, or my books, please look below in the links. And I'll see you again in another video. And thanks again. Lots of love. Take care.